It's now my privilege to introduce Veterans Affairs Council Minister Li Sanho from the Republic of China and Taiwan. Minister Li wore his country's uniform for more than four decades and previously served as the Commanding General of Taiwan's Army Missile Command, the Military Police Command, and of the overall Army of Taiwan before becoming the Vice Chief of its General Staff. He is a graduate of the Republic of China's Military Academy, and he also holds a master's degree from Georgetown University. In May 2016, he became the new minister of the Veterans Affairs Council, which is similar to our Department of Veterans Affairs. The VFW has a very special relationship with the Veterans Affairs Council that goes back 37 years. Plus, we have a long-standing VFW national resolution that supports the Republic of China on Taiwan. He and his staff were very gracious hosts when I visited Taiwan in May, a visit that included meeting President Tsai Ing-wen, and I am very pleased he could join us here at our VFW National Convention in New Orleans. Ladies and gentlemen, auxiliary members and guests, please join me as we welcome Minister Lee Sanjo to the VFW National Convention. Minister. Commander-in-Chief Duffy, distinguished guests, all the heroes and your family, good morning. Thank you for the warm welcome. It's such a great honor of mine to be here, especially to address the veteran who have selfless served the country. On behalf of Repu the Veteran Affairs Council of the Republic of China, I hereby to extend our deepest respect and regards to all the American patriots and heroes. The Veteran Affairs Council of the Republic of China and the VFW have bonded in a brotherhood ship since 1980. The main reason is that we have established this long-lasting friendship is because we share the same value, believe in freedom, democracy, human rights, peace, and also international justice. Also, we are both committed to strive for dignity and welfare for those who have served and sacrificed for the country, both at home and abroad. They deserve this glory, and that's the reason why we are here to support, honor, appreciate those veteran service members and their family by providing tangible benefit for them. As you know, the Taiwan and the U.S. have had profound relief in political, economic, and the street, and also in military security. In other words, Taiwan's, device mode, Taiwan's development is closely tied to the U.S. interest in the Asia Pacific region. Therefore, we should be helping Taiwan goes continuously undergo military transformation to gain appropriate capability of self-defense, to join economic and trade pacts and other international organizations is crucial for our common interests. 
Taiwan is situated in the center of First Island Chain in your Western Pacific defense line. Our strategic value is important and irreplaceable. In return, based upon the above mentioned basis, Taiwan can be more involved to improve regional security, peace, and economic development in Asia Pacific. Over the year, Taiwan has been acting in humanitarian assistance and the disaster relief roles in order to carry out our responsibility and obligation as a member of Global Village. I would like to use a metaphor as my closing remark. A joint compass can draw a full circle as big as it can reach. And the center was stay grounded while the food, while the food keep move, keeps moving. But if a person cannot bring his dream to a full circle, it's because his feet are grounded and his heart keeps moving. The determination of, the, of that, the VAC and the VFW, both share in taking care of our veteran is our founding vision. As long as our faith continues to go for our veteran, as long as we go the extra mile for them, then we will create a perfect circle toward contributing to world peace. Once again, I would like to express my sincerest appreciation to VFW for your unwavering supporting, especially submitting the resolution to the Congress and the State Department. Back in Taiwan, in terms of defense, armed procurement, foreign and political affairs, economic and trade issues. This gets you our brotherhood will always remain in my heart and mind. Thank you so much and have a successful convention. As well as wish you all health and happiness. Thank you. Now, I would like to present Commander in Chief Duffy in a medal of honor with Corvette Veteran of Fair Council First Class in recognition of his dedication to promoting the friendship between our two countries. Colonel Wang, please announce the citation. Certificate of Award to accompany the presentation of the Medal of Honor of Veterans Affairs Council to Mr. Brian J. Duffy, Commander-in-Chief, Veterans of Foreign Wars of the United States of America, in recognition of his dedication in upholding international justice and in safeguarding international status of the Republic of China and in improving welfare of the veterans. A Medal of Honor of Veterans Affairs Council, first class, is hereby awarded on the date of the 23rd day of July 
in the year of 2017, General Li Xiangzhou, Minister, Veterans Affairs Council, Republic of China. <laughs>